What's up, Ada Nation? Welcome to DAP Central. My name is Fareed. As a part of today's video, we're jumping into some pretty exciting news surrounding the efficiency on Cardano. That's with the release of Plutus version number three on the Sancho Net. Now, if you guys aren't aware, Plutus is the core development language that the entire Cardano blockchain is built on top of. Jumping into 2023, we had the release of the Valentine um, upgrade, as well as the release of the Vassal Heart Fork, which brought along Plutus V2. And we're now finally getting the next iteration of Plutus as a part of a V3. Now, I mentioned earlier, this is only available right now on the Sancho testnet. If you guys are not familiar with the Sancho testnet, this is the playground in anticipation of the launch of SIP number 1694. So I'll leave the link to it down below. It is available at Sancho.network, but it's got three separate stakeholders or three separate users that can jump on the platform to begin to get their hands on all the new code and all the new upgrades coming to the Cardano mainnet. So with respect to that, this is for number one, ADA holders or anybody who wants to just begin testing on Cardano. It's also going to be for SPOs or stake pool operators. And then last but not least, DREPs or delegate representatives. Now, I mentioned earlier that Sancho Net will have a focus more or less surrounding SIP number 1694, which aims to bring governance for the Cardano community through something like the Intersect MBO. Now, let's focus on the recent article that was just released surrounding Plutus V3. This was released by Olga just a couple of minutes ago, stating unlocking more opportunities with V3. Now, some of the key features that this brings along include smart contract adoption. On top of that, this will have support for governance and voting features. And last but not least, this will bring interoperability through something like side chains. Scrolling down at the very beginning, it reads Plutus V3, now available for testing on the Sancho Net, introduces advanced Plutus primitives and also improves or provides more tooling for developers, which unlocks more possibilities for writing smart contracts. Scrolling down below, it states, to continue building out the capability of the Plutus framework, the team at IOG in collaboration with MLabs has worked on Plutus V3, focusing on performance, throughput, smart contract size, and platform capabilities. Now with an enriched developer toolkit and better operational efficiency, this particular upgrade not only not only reduces cost, but also brings in new developers. We just had a brand new developer report, which came out by Electric Capital, which highlighted the fact that Cardano right now does appear to be building in somewhat of a silo, showing some of the lower numbers when it comes to developers that are working on multiple blockchains, including Cardano. I think it was about 400 developers right now, which are dedicated full-time to Cardano. Again, they're not necessarily spreading out, but through something like Plutus V3, we could begin to see more interoperability or more connections with developers, not only building on Cardano, but also touching some of the more ERC based communities as well. So let's focus a little bit more about what actual what actually comes with Plutus V3. So Plutus V3 enhances Plutus's core cryptographic capabilities, enabling Cardano to conform with the latest industry standards. I mentioned the Valentine upgrade, which was released about a year ago, which included sepsi elliptic curves and some new signing methods. Now, the next portion states that the introduction of these new cryptographic primitives with Plutus V3 helps developers meet industry best practices using well-known and optimal cryptographic algorithms, the ability to also port smart contracts from Ethereum, as well as create side chain bridges. We did see an announcement about a year ago surrounding the IOG side side chain toolkit, which makes it much easier to implement ERC20 style smart contracts on a Cardano based side chain. So looks like more talks and more um, thoughts surrounding interoperability overall. Now, I want to take a quick minute here just to kind of quickly explain what primitives are. So if it's your first time hearing about a primitive, they're well-established low-level algorithms that are frequently used to build cryptographic or blockchain-based protocols. Now, some of the new features coming along with Plutus V3 include sums of products, 
which it states here that Plutus V3 introduces this new sum of products feature, which is a way of encoding data types that leads to smaller and cheaper scripts compared with Scott encoding. We're also expecting brand new cryptographic primitives. Again, I just highlighted what those are. And then very lastly, towards the bottom, we've also got bitwise primitives being included as well as a part of Plutus V3. This brings forth performance boosts, cryptographic support, integer string conversions for smooth integrations, as well as more efficient algorithms and data structures. Now, at the very bottom here, it states that amongst its benefits, Plutus V3 offers greater efficiency, optionality, and ease of use for the Cardano Builder community. Again, wanted to take a quick minute to just highlight exactly how big and how important this particular update is with respect to Cardano. Again, trying to make it much more efficient, much more easier, and make Plutus and just Cardano in general much more interoperable with other networks outside of this thriving ecosystem. That said, let me know if you guys are already number one on the Sancho testnet, and then number two, if you've gotten a chance or an opportunity to play around with Plutus V3. That will bring me to the end here for today's video. Again, if you guys found any portion of this video to be helpful or insightful, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by Dab Central and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me, then please make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.